This is a next weather alert from CBS News Miami. And it really seems that the new five o'clock advisory, yeah. it seems that cone is really narrowing, if you will. It's mm -hmm. It is, which indicates specific. a higher level of certainty as to where mm -hmm. Ian will go. And unfortunately, another update this morning as of 5 a.m. is that Hurricane Ian has intensified. Hurricane hunters have been in there investigating and finding that indeed it has strengthened into a category four with max sustained winds of 140 miles an hour. The pressure has dropped to 942 millibars. And when you take a look, at the satellite presentation here of Hurricane Ian, you can see this is a beast of a hurricane. It is dangerous, and right now there is a potential for life-threatening, catastrophic storm surge and flooding to parts of the southwest coast of Florida especially, but we are, of course, feeling the impacts here. In fact, much of Florida dealing with Ian as we take a look at the forecast track. So, yes, a Category 4 expected to make landfall sometime later today could be near Fort Myers, could be a little bit north of Fort Myers, but as of now, folks in Tampa Bay now seeing that although they will be dealing with some impacts from Ian, it looks like the winds will be more offshore, so that is better news for them instead of, of course, the previous scenario where we would have seen the onshore winds and the storm surge being much more severe and significant, but now we're seeing our friends here along the southwest coast of Florida bracing for this monster of a hurricane, and then it'll weaken actually pretty quickly quickly to a category one likely later today or overnight tonight into tomorrow before it potentially moves across central Florida could be moving over Orlando as a cat one hurricane or a tropical storm by tomorrow afternoon. The winds decrease to 60 miles per hour and then down to 50 miles per hour by Friday before it moves across parts of the southeast Georgia. The Carolinas potentially also dealing with Ian storm surge. That's one of the biggest concerns here as it could range anywhere from eight to 12 feet here from Port Charlotte all the way to Fort Myers and even near Bonita Springs and in Naples. We could see storm surge of seven to 10 feet and here in South Florida across the lower keys storm surge could be three to five feet, two to four feet across the rest of the keys and minor storm surge for the rest of South Florida. We're all under a tropical storm warning as tropical storm conditions will be possible. That tornado watch extended until 5 p.m. and flood watch through tomorrow. Right now with more on our local impacts and a look at the radar and the winds. We have Dave Warren with us. Yes, and we have to keep an eye on the uh, radar because we get these squalls coming in. Uh, they're moving through the lower keys right now. That is where you find the strongest wind, the downpours that work their way through the area. The storm itself is moving to the north about 90, 95 miles uh, from Key West moving away, uh, but we'll get these bands, these uh, uh, rain bands that spin around and spin through the area here moving through the lower keys right now. Uh, in this, you're seeing a wind of 37 mile, uh, miles per hour sustained, a gust close to 60 miles an hour. So that went up 20 mile an hour wind there in marathon 48 mile an hour gust gusting over 30 miles an hour out of the southeast here sustained 20 to 25 miles an hour now within these squalls that move through the area uh, it is possible for the radar to detect a little rotation you might get a brief tornado just have a warning issued right there up into palm beach county uh, but that's moving to the north uh, still downpours and gusts of wind as these move through the metro areas there along the east coast they're developing just off the coast and moving to the north. This is the activity we see now. A little more will be developing later. The tornado watch goes till five, so the potential is there uh, for any of these, which are in the forecast over the next six hours to produce a brief tornado. Stay alert for any watches or, or, or any warnings that may be issued. Uh, this is over the next six hours. The storm itself approaching the coastline, but here in South Florida, they get the gust of wind, these bands uh, that spin around and work their way through the area going from south to north. Sustained tropical storm force wind will move out with the storm as it tracks to the north, but again, the gust could continue this afternoon and this evening. Seeing this with the forecast each hour, look at these bands that race through the area by 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock. They're still around, so they'll be off and on today and even a bit tomorrow, although we'll see a little improvement tomorrow afternoon and evening and then sunshine, not as gusty in storms Friday, Saturday and Sunday with temperatures into the upper 80s will be near 90 with sun and storms by the start of next week there.